Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Danielle with Damn Fancy Creations, and today I'm doing an updated video to my spray painted plaid that will also have a distressed bleach spot. So the first thing you want to do is prep your cup and then I sprayed it with this beige color. I believe it is Smoky Beige by Rust-Oleum. I also use flat white paint to prep it. I always sand and spray my cups white. I use flat because it dries quicker. I also use this metallic finish. There wasn't a color on it, but it's like a copper color. And then coral. You also will need one inch painter's tape. Um, I personally like Rust-Oleum paints better than Kryolan. To me, the colors are just more vibrant. Um, I also get less clogs with Rust-Oleum than Kryolan, but it's just personal preference. Then you're going to start with tearing several pieces of tape that are the length of your cup. They don't need to be exact, they just need to cover your cup from top to bottom. I usually pull six or seven pieces. And then we are going to tape one piece from top to bottom. And I just get it as straight as I can and just lightly pat it down. Then you're going to take another piece of tape and put it directly next to the first one. And then a third one next to that one. And then pull up the middle piece. That is just your spacer to make sure you get evenly spaced lines. And you're going to do this all the way around your cup. And for the last one, um, you'll see I just kind of eyeball it. It doesn't need to be perfect, but I get it about the same. And then we are going to take our orange and mist it on the cup. I usually hold it about two feet away from me and then just kind of lightly spray all the way around. And it doesn't need to be uniform. I kind of like the look. Some spots might be brighter than others. And just mist around. So you can see there's a little bit of color, but it's not, you know, completely covered. It's just lightly misted on there. Then we are going to take the metallic and do the exact same thing with this one. And my metallic, um, it takes a little bit more to, to get color on the cup than the orange does. It might just be because it's really old, but <laughs> yours might be darker, so always test it before you spray your cup with it. And once you have done that step, we are going to peel this tape off. <clears throat> You're just going to lightly or slowly peel it off. You don't want to yank it or pull really quickly and risk the tape peeling off some of the beige color. And I'm saving this tape because we are going to reuse it on step three. And your paint should be dry since we just misted it. So you can immediately go into the next step, which is taping the opposite way. So you're going to do the same thing as before. You're going to put down one piece of tape Then you're going to put another piece of tape directly below it. 
Then put a third piece of tape below it and peel off the middle piece. And you're going to do this all the way down your cup. And I um, really concentrate on the ends. I want to be sure that where my tape matches up, it's straight because you don't want to have uneven spray paint lines where the tape meets. And for the last one, I've done this cup several different times, so I always know that the next piece goes right where the seam is. And then we are going to spray paint again with the same color as we just did. And this time, you'll notice when you missed the orange and the bronze, the first colors that we misted will be a little bit darker than the ones we're doing now, which I like because it gives it a little bit more interest. So missed your bronze again, but not so much that you can't see your lines. So after this step, we are going to leave the tape on there and we are going to replace the original tape, which is where the lighter colors are. So you wanna be sure you can still see that. So again, it should be dry because we just misted colors and you're going to retape these lines and then spray it again with the same colors and this time we're going to get our bottom as well. So you can see I still didn't saturate it. You're still just kind of misting it a little bit on there. And then once that's done, we're going to peel off all the tape. This is the satisfying part. Still slowly, I know this is sped up a little bit, but you want to be sure that you're peeling slowly so you don't rip the paint up. And voila! So now we're going to do our bleach spot. I take flat paint I like the flat because it dries quicker than the shiny or the gloss. So shake it up really good. And if I don't know if you've noticed or not, but I always do test sprays before I spray my paint just to make sure nothing funny is going on. And I'm going to spray it pretty much in the center where I want the center of my bleach spot to be. And then kind of spray around it. You don't want it to be, you know, a perfect circle. So you're just going to spray it. And then I also like a little bit of color on the edges of my bleach spot. So I'm going to take the coral and the metallic and spray just a little bit on the edges. And if any of the color gets in the center of the bleach spot, I just go back and hit the center one or two times with white. And there you go. So after your paint is dried, we are going to spray the whole cup with a gloss spray. I use Rust-Oleum two times. Um, if you apply water slide to a matte finish, it can look a little funny under epoxy. So I always spray it with clear spray. So you're going to wet the backing of your water slide. There's no need to submerge it in a tub of water. You just need to get the backing wet so it loosens the adhesive. And then we wait. You want to get a wet paper towel handy 
so you can wet your cup. And when the backing starts to release from the paper, it's ready to apply to your cup. So you wanna make sure that your cup is wet so you can move the water slide around once it's on the cup so you can get it exactly where you want it. So once you line it up how you want, you can squeeze all the water out from up underneath it. I just use the car towels from Walmart, the microfiber ones, just to get all the water underneath it. You don't want any air bubbles or anything like that when you go to epoxy. So you can let this dry for 30 minutes, an hour the next day if you want to, and then you can epoxy. So I decided to add some glitter to the epoxy just to give it a little sparkle. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. Hope you guys enjoyed.